Hi guys, this is Raj, agent of change, back with another video. I am an enterprise solutions architect working at AWS. In this video, we will look into brand new service, EventBridge, announced at AWS Global Summit, New York City, 2019 and understand how it is different than already existing service, even bus inside CloudWatch. All right, let's get to it. So let's start from beginning. What is a bus? Uh, no, definitely not this kind. In computer architecture, a bus is a communication system that transfers data between components inside a computer or between computers. For those of you who have built desktops, a computer bus looks like this. So now that you understand what is a computer bus, let's look at what is an event bus. An event bus is a mechanism that allows different components to communicate with each other even without knowing about each other. A component can send an event to an event bus without knowing who will pick it up or how many others will pick it up. Components can listen to event bus without knowing who sent the events. That way, components can communicate without depending on each other. Also, it is very easy to substitute a component as long as the new component understands the events that are being sent and received. The other component will never know. So if we look at this diagram, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, one of the service, uh, service A, puts an event called event X on the event bus, and then another service picks it up. This service A doesn't know anything about service B and vice versa. Now let's take a look at event bus in AWS with an example. So on the left, we have EC2, and anytime the state of the EC2 changes, let's say it changes from start to stop, stop to terminate, a message gets put into the event bus and then a Lambda gets triggered and processes that change. So if we want to extend that, uh, instead of EC2, it could be any AWS service and it's not restricted to the same AWS account. Even services from different AWS account can put into this event bus. And on the processing side, uh, you can use multiple AWS services outside of Lambda. So now let's take a look at Event Bridge. So it is announced in AWS Global Summit 2019, New York City, and existing Event Bus is a subset of Event Bridge. So what is what is different in Event Bridge? So this flow you, you know from Event Bus. So on the left, in addition to AWS services from same or different account, now software as a service providers can also put events into the event bus. And on the right side, uh, there are still AWS services that can process the message. This event bus could be AWS event bus or a partner bus. And you can apply rules on the events before it goes to the processor. And EventBridge is a serverless service. So remember we said SaaS providers. So I'm just putting a couple of SaaS provider names out here. So let's say Datadog, Zendesk, etc. So what is one of the use case? Let's say you can send status changes in customer support tickets to EventBridge and trigger an automated workflow or use machine learning to train and deploy a sentiment analysis model. For example, you can use Amazon SageMaker to attach a customer satisfaction score on an original Zendesk ticket. So what are some of the benefits? Number one is, of course, you can connect data from SaaS applications. EventBridge ingests data from supported SaaS applications and route it to AWS service targets through native integration in the AWS management console. And it allows you to easily build event-driven architectures. With EventBridge, your event targets don't need to be aware of event sources because you can filter and publish directly to EventBridge. And you write less code because EventBridge makes it easy to connect applications together because you can ingest, filter, and deliver events without writing custom code and it reduces operational overhead. It is a fully managed service 
that takes care of all the underlying infrastructure management tasks required to set up and run a highly scalable event bus. All right, enough theory, let's jump into the demo. Okay, we are gonna take a look at the existing event bus first. Remember we mentioned it exists in CloudWatch. So we are just gonna type CloudWatch and then you can see event buses. So if you click event buses here, uh, it shows that it shows the default event bus and you can see it says you can manage permissions on the default event bus to authorize other accounts. Other AWS accounts can share their events with you by adding your default event bus as a target to their rules. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it as is. Let's click on the rules. So if we click create rules, here you can see the event pattern. You can select uh, you can select from one of these AWS services. Let's say we select EC2, and then uh, we want to put a message in the event bus anytime the instance state change. And you can go even more granular, like specific states. See how easy it is to create the events without even coding a single line of code. Okay, and then it also shows uh, sample events, like how a sample uh, event message will look like. So on the right side at the targets, targets get invoked when an event matches your event pattern or when the schedule is triggered. So basically, uh, this is what, what processes the event from the event bus. So if I click at target, and you can see these are the AWS services that you can choose to process your event from the event bus. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now let's look at event bridge. I'm going to type event bridge, click create rule, click event pattern. Uh, let's stick to predefined pattern for this. And remember I said event bus is a subset of this new service event bridge. So if I select AWS, these are the same service names that you are seeing on the event bus. So if I go and select EC2, event type, instant change state notification, you can select any or specific, um, event bus. So here you can see the option, it could be default or custom or partner event bus, depending on the event. And then again, the target, you can select the target. So this functionality is exactly same to the pre-existing event bus. So instead of selecting AWS, if I select service partners, and then you can see all the third-party service provider that can put events into this event bus. So I can select Zendesk, uh, I can keep using default event bus, and then um, the target are same. Okay, so uh, that is it, short and sweet demo. Uh, so you can see using even bridge, you can integrate different systems very easily without doing a lot of code. All right guys, that is the video. If you like this video, please smash that like button and click subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.